Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 43 on the new General Curriculum Math subtest. This particular problem involves simple probability, which is one of those core ideas that you see on every single type of teacher certification exam. Let's start by reading over the problem. It says, use the table below to answer the question that follows. And they give us a table. I always want to identify the main idea of the table, like what's this about? Well, it looks like it's going to be about bread. And on the left side, we have one, two, three, four, five different types of bread. And on the right side gives us the number of loaves sold. Each one of these numbers makes up our data that we're going to use in working through this problem, okay? All right, let's, let's continue to read. A bakery sells five kinds of bread, which matches up with what we observed. The table, which is what we were analyzing in the beginning, shows the number of loaves of each type of bread sold so far this week. Given the data in the table about the bread and the number of loaves sold of each bread, what is the probability that the next loaf of bread sold will be sesame seed? Now, if we've made some quick observations about the table, before reading the problem, both of these things are going to match up. Our observations of the table and the setup of this problem, they're all going to match up. And as you read this over, bakery, five kinds of bread, the table shows the numbers of each type of bread, you're going to, that's all going to click off because you're going to be like, yeah, I observed those things in the table. So in this way, by reviewing the table first, you're going to comprehend the question a lot faster. Yay? So always give that 30 seconds to review the table. And now that we've reviewed that data and have an understanding of the table, we can really focus on our key math concept here, which is probability. What is the probability that the next loaf of bread is going to be sesame seed in this data set? Let's review probability. When calculating simple probability, we take the number of times an event happens divided by the total number of times it could happen. In this problem, they tell us that in that one week, 60 loaves of bread were sold. And what we got to do is we got to figure out how many total loaves of bread were sold in that whole week. What's the total? That means we're going to have to add up these ones here. We're going to have to add up these data points here to get the total. Now, whenever you do this, try and find ways of adding these numbers up uh, that are convenient and, and reduce careless mistakes. For example, like 25, and 15, they add up nicely to 40. And 32 and 18, oh, those add up nicely to 50. Plus the 60, now we have three numbers, a little bit more manageable to add up. If we add the 40 to the 60, we're going to get 100. And 100 plus the 50, oh, that gets us to 150. We just found out the total number of loaves of bread sold that week was 150. So we could say that the probability of getting a sesame seed loaf of bread is going to be 60 over 150. But the answer is in percent form, so we've got to turn this fraction to a percent. Let's start first by reducing this fraction down. What could we reduce this by? Do you see the zeros? That means both of these can be divided by a factor of 10. So let's try that. Divide the 60 by 10, the 150 by 10, reduces the fraction to 6 over 15. Now, some teachers might be like, you know what? I can really quickly convert this to a percent because I know that this is approximately equal to 5 over 15. And you know what? That's going to be equal to one third or, or 33 percent. I mean, that is a very fair approximation of this fraction. And you just really quickly, if you do that, you just figured out very quickly that 6 fifteenths is approximately 33 percent. Now, this can be helpful. This approximation can be very helpful because it could eliminate options like D and C very quickly. But unfortunately, it doesn't actually help us get to, to actually get us to the answer. It gets us real close, but A and B are still too close to call. We gotta go back and we gotta solve this fraction out all the way. And, and I'm hoping that you see that this fraction can actually be reduced one more time. It can't be reduced by 10 and not by 2, but let's try 3. So you wanna get these fractions reduced down to their lowest terms. 6 divided by 3 gets 2. 5 divided by 3 gets 5. So we could say the probability that the next loaf of bread is going to be sesame seed is 2 fifths. Now 2 fifths is a core fraction or connected to the core fraction 1 fifth. 
and I'm hoping from other videos you've memorized that one-fifth is equal to 20%. Now, two-fifths is double one-fifth, so double 20% would be 40%. There's a 40% likelihood that the next loaf of bread is going to be sesame seed. The answer here is B. You could still solve this problem by solving it the old-fashioned way, which is doing like 6 divided by 15, or, or 2 right, divided by 5. Both of these calculations are going to get the same decimal representation, and you're going to have to convert that 0 0.4 into a percent by moving the decimal over two spaces to get the 40%. You know, you could still get to the answer by doing it the long way, but why do it the long way? Memorize your core fractions so you can convert this type of fraction a lot faster and get to the answer a lot faster. Yay? Yay. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. The answer here is B. Have a great day, team. Take care. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.